Hey love bugs, it's Riles. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you feel like the videos is just, you know, just give you a good vibe, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video and the video i'm about to do today is called twin flame 101 you're beautifully broken and perfectly shattered just not in the ways that you think you know um a lot of times when we can go through stuff you know even i said that at one time i feel broken and it's it's not in the way you feel you know even where you feel like you're being broken it's just the things uh, are breaking away from you that was uh, built off of illusion built up off of fear limited beliefs um, toxic patterns and habits uh, toxic you know thoughts and truths of thoughts you know things that just really disturb your peace and it's like when you're on that uh, purpose of path that when, when it comes to your spiritual awakening just like it is you know spiritual awakening as backwards as awakening in spirit you know it's part of you that you never knew existed a part of you that you had to know you know you're unfolding it's like always telling you unfold you know keep showing up for yourself until you get very acquainted until you come into merge you know what you're doing right now what we're all doing right now merging into that best version of ourselves and we had to go through that you shattered a lot of different things that's going on in your life that was you know that was like predicted to keep continuing you know we were those ones that's breaking them barriers you know and that's not easy to do you know and when it comes to uh evil you know the devil or anything they don't want us to break habits that um that needs to continue where he felt like it needs to continue it comes to that point where we we do the things that we thought that follows our heart you know there's a lot of times just like in certain families where they feel like you know this has been a part of our family so we got to keep that in, in the legacy and bloodline and a lot of times you may not feel a part of that situation that they don't pass all the time and that's breaking you away from that it shatters that repetitive cycle that our you know our, our lifespan you know our, our bloodline is going through you're creating one for yourself you know it, it's just like well I'm going through my situation or whatever you know um I wanted to make a, a, a you know a uh, name for myself you know never living in the background of you know who I'm related to or anything like that living in that shadow be, being able to create something of my own you know um, and being able to follow that and how I see fit or actually how God and universe sees fit with that you know you're breaking away from that and it's, it's, it's beautiful even though it may feel tragic it's beautiful to you because it's like now you're allowing yourself to see how you know how determined you could be to keep going you know even when things are just just shifting and just really hitting home for you all the time and these are the things this is where you know it's just like a lot of times we try to understand you know why when we we allow ourselves to be determined to say you know what this will be the day where I'm not allowing anything that is out of my control, you know, to stop me from what I can do better, not just for myself, but be better for anything that's coming into contact with me that is going to take me towards that next step. And when you're allowing yourself to do that, that's where that's where challenges really come in at. That's where struggle comes in. That's where uh, circumstances that are just, you know, just out there like, you know, it comes one after another, after another, after another. And this is where the structure of strength is getting built off of because it's showing you you know there there's things that's coming into your life they always tell you never take for granted because the doors that are opening for you is going to manifest something into you that you aren't even expecting that's the reason why you know you go through so much that's the reason why people make you second guess yourself that's the reason why people downplay your your uh you know your dreams and admiration whatever you feel like you want to create into your life and those are the things that's showing you you know you're not broken in any kind of way you may bend but you're not broken you, you broke away from anything that was built up as a lie you know because there's a lot of times where they feel like society we only can have a certain quota for a society we only have uh, a certain belief for our different walks of life you know they always telling us certain things can't do this certain people can't do this if you got a certain amount of money in your bank account you can't do this you know whatever your you know your ethnic history is or your your race or nationality you're not able to do this now is at that point i'm my own person 
I don't care what statistics say. I don't care what social, you know, society say. I'm making my own brand. My, I'm my own walking brand. I'm my own walking trend. You know, I'm not following to be to anybody else. You follow to be to somebody, you get lost in the crowd. You know, when you step away from the crowd, you lose the crowd and you find yourself. And these are the things that's telling you, you know, you're, you're beautifully broken. You're perfectly shattered because you're showing even though you've been shattered, you still stand tall. You still stand persistent. You know, you keep going even when days you don't feel like going. You know, because it was just like, like I've been doing so much purging and so much resting. And then I see how much I did last week. And I was just really on the go, really on the go. And it was like, I love that. But I knew deep down inside it was for me trying to ignore the pain that was coming up. Because it was just like my dad's anniversary. And then it was my best friend's anniversary. And all these different things was taking place in my life. And I wanted to stay occupied from that. But then it's at that point, when are you going to allow yourself to heal? You know, just because you're allowing yourself to heal and not be sad it doesn't mean that you don't love these people anymore. You know, it doesn't mean that you're denying them because you're allowing yourself to be at peace. You're not, you know, you're not denying them to be happy. This is what, you know, spirit wants you to be able to do. They're always with you. And I had to be able to deal with that, you know, and it was just like, you know, I was doing this, you know, I mean, because it was just like days I would only get like two and three hours of sleep. I wasn't really getting sleep. And I'm wondering why by the 11th and 12th day, like, girl, I'm tired. And it's like, you see what you've been doing for the last week? You went in. You know, this is that time for you to rest. And I was going to rest today. But then it was like, no, someone's in my spirit where there's things that I was led to say. You know, even when I'm tired, that, that lets you know when you're determined. You know, because a lot of things will come up in your life where you can see where things ain't working out for you or you can feel different things that's being placed on you. And the best way to break those things is to keep going. The best way you can, you know, is just like you want to make the enemy mad. Be happy. You know, just allow yourself to be determined. You still, you know, you wish blessings for them. You wish healing heights for them. But you allow yourself to keep going. This is where, you know, you're, you're going to allow yourself to know you breaking everything that's been placed on you. You know, you're shattering that. You're sh shattering anything that is ill will on your life, either your energetic uh, signature, your social media pictures, you know, different things people can place on you, you know. And these are the things where you're shattering that. You know, we were all potent because a lot of times, like, Rosalind, it feel like something on me. It is. Because the fact is, when you know you're chosen to break something that, you know, has been going on for so many years and just, you're not just breaking something. You know, just for you and your healing. You're doing this for your family. You're doing this for the generation. You're doing this for the bloodline, the legacy, the tribal ancestors, the ancestors, the chosen ones. You know, the arch archangels, the angels, all these different things. And for that to happen, you're going to have evil coming at you left and right. You're going to have people doing hoodoo, voodoo, and you do all those little things coming up to you. But God is always showing you, this. I'm breaking that. You know, remember what I promised you. No matter what's going on around you, remember what I promised you. I'm shattering all those things. Some things that's coming at you, I'm letting you, those things I'm going to allow contact with you because it's going to strengthen you. These are the different things that's showing people. You make impossible possible. You know, you know make impossible possible because these are the things that's placed on you where people are going to be thinking, oh, this can shatter that person. It's going to tie them down to suffering, grief. You know, this is going to make them want to take their whole life out. And trust and believe you may have felt that way. But then your soul is like, this ain't over. Don't give up so easily. Don't give the enemy what he want. Don't give the devil what they want. This is that time where you're going to prove to you. You ain't got time to be proven to any other person. Because it's just the fact is when you get towards that vibration, your energy is going to speak before you do. Your vibration is going to speak before you do. People going to sniff you out like, damn, what is that? You know, you're you going to feel that. You know, and these are those times where you're going to be glad. You got broken the way you did because it allowed you to build up in your truth, being able to see your power, recognize your own light. But you had to be also being able to be comforted by your darkness. Your darkness is giving you that time because, you know, a lot of times we don't we do not want to touch the dark part of ourselves. We don't want to, you know, connect with those things that we really need to heal from. We feel like if we ignore it, it'll eventually go away. It's not. It just isn't. If we allow ourselves to keep, you know, medicating for it, you know, living through it by taking care of it with, with sexual relations or some kind of addiction of some kind of way, it's going to make it better. No. Healing is what makes it better. Holding yourself accountable will make it better. Allowing yourself to forgive will make it better. You know, forgive other people. Forgive yourself. 
you know, all these things, that's what's going to make it better. And then you're going to understand you can love your light, but you're going to always love that darkness because that darkness led you back to your light. It always reminded you of that, you know. Things have been placed on you where it hardened your heart, where, you know, you may have not loved yourself. You may have not seen your self-worth. You, you Basically, when you got treated like ish, you allowed yourself to see yourself as that. Now you're allowing yourself to understand, oh, Lord, gave me a gift when I just said that. <laughs> so my nose started tickling. You know, you're going through different things like that, and it's showing you how beautifully loved you are, even when it may not feel like you are you know you're never alone even when you feel like you're alone there's somebody always watching you there's always somebody protecting you you know things may not even be going in the way you thought they were but don't know what they're preparing you for you don't know what places in buildings that they're talking about you that you didn't even qualify for you didn't think you qualified a lot of times you feel like you ain't enough you're overqualified you know just a lot of times people are just not going to see that within you they're not trying to you know uh, and a lot of times some people see it and trying to destroy that because they see that in you, you know, and these are the things that you're going to be grateful for when you get there. You know, you're going to see yourself from maybe a week from now or a month from now or even a year from now. And you're going to look back at those situations that broke and bent you in every kind of way, shattered your whole vibration. And you're going to appreciate that because it allowed you to become a beast. <laughs> you know, you are the goat. You know, anybody who's a black sheep, you eventually recognize yourself as being a goat. You know, we we be talking truth, and a lot of times that people don't like that. You know, because that over over you know shadows their lives on different things. But it's telling you, you know, you took that mask off. They tried to you know place on you. You allowed yourself to snatch that mask off of that they try to approach you with. You know, you're allowing yourself to be safe within your own love. You know, within your own strength and saying, I don't need you to make me feel love. I feel love for myself because you weren't, that's not what you were giving me. You know, you created your own peace when people start triggering every day. I don't think because of their war with themselves and you allowed yourself to still be at peace. You know, you stayed solid even when other folks were just trying to rock you in every kind of way. And you're going to see that within yourself. You're going to appreciate everything that has taken place into your life that was sent to break you and only made you. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Much love to you as well. Like I said, I did not respond to nobody's comments, so I'm not giving a shout out today. Well, I'll, well, I'll go ahead and give it. It's like Jim Mack, uh, uh, Trisus, uh, I think her name is Triisus. I think that it looked look like Trist Issues. That's what it sounded like to me. Try Issues. Um, much love to you. I apologize if I messed it up. Uh, Mighty Robs as well as uh, Fair Hazard. Much love to you. And um, I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. You know, um, it's all about spiritual networking. If you just need a, a what is it, a deeper understanding about your path of purpose, your path of purpose, you know, or you, there's different things you may be going through. You just need insight or just, you know, because a lot of time people ask me, Rosalind, this and this happened in my life, and I really don't understand what happened. You know, and there's a lot of crazy stuff that goes on in our life. And it's like, if you've been you've been in this vibration long, you'll understand there ain't nothing crazy. There ain't nothing accident and nothing a coincidence. These things are, you know, waking you up in a certain way that you weren't able to realize yet. But it's going to make sense to you soon. So, it's all about that. You know, just being able to do that. I try my best to be able to help out where I can and whatever we speak on is confidential. And um, I leave my link to my podcast as well that I have on Spotify. And also, if you feel generous enough to make a donation, you know, I also leave my cash app there as well. So I hope whatever you're going through to bring into your life, into your manifestations that may be hard for you to be doing right now. When I tell you I'm placing so many beautiful vibrations on you, um, whatever is taking place, just to be able to open that door of blessings that just because the hardship you went through, God's going to bless you with something farther far better than you ever imagined and you know the day you feel like quitting could be tomorrow that that blessing was coming through so stay persistent and consistent and keep going you know never never give up on something that you uh that you can't go an hour or a day without dreaming about so you'll see me on my next video much love to you peace